Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to the Sword and Shield Maze, and let's play Oracle of Seasons! This episode, we get to deal with winter a lot. Apparently because there's ice around here. You know what? It would be a good time to bring the snowshoe ring. If you have it, that is. Let's see, for this part... Yeah. Got a statue there, you hit it, you get a key! Just like in, well, a lot of other Zelda games. Can't get over to that pot yet. Not that there's anything important in there, but you can't get to it yet. So, don't worry about it. Hmm, how many statues there? There's three statues there, but I can't hit them all at once. If only there were a way I could do that. Well, let's take out these guys. I can kill them without the magnetic gloves? Huh. I always thought I needed the magnetic gloves in order to kill them. Or to get close enough to them. I guess they're not like those other guys. Well, there you go. Normally without the snowshoe ring. Let me just show you real quick. Yeah, you'd get a little bit of slide. And yeah, so it'd be pretty hard to control. The snowshoe ring is amazing in this area. So make sure to bring that with you. And kill those guys. There's a magnetic ball up there to deal with that guy. But I'm just going to take the easy way out. If you don't mind, viewers. Ha! There we go. Just save a little bit on time there. But yeah, you're supposed to... Do Whoa! Take care of these guys. Oh, I love the snowshoeing. It'd be so hard to navigate through this room without it. But that's yet another reason to play this game second. Although, when you do play it the other way around, you do get the swimmer's ring for the two, um, or at least the second. Whoa! I can't make that jump. You get the swimmer's ring uh, from that same password uh, exchanger for Oracle of Ages if you play it Ages second. And that can be pretty useful with the two swimming dungeons. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a trade-off, but uh, well, I still like playing it this, in, the, in this order. Whoa. Ha. Whoa. Might want to uh, yeah, get the Rackscape out. We're going to be using, well, maybe not our full arsenal, but most of the items that we got up to now. So I like how they do that with the 8th du dungeon. And, whoa! Just like that one trap room earlier. Okay, come on. There we go. Well, that, was, that wasn't so bad. Now at this point, probably want to bring the blue ring because I am going to take a lot of damage in this dungeon. Not that it's an incredibly hard dungeon, but still. I'd rather not take more damage than I have to. But yeah, we got those guys. We got lava to deal with. Whoa! Well, yeah, I'm doing pretty good today. So far, so good. Well, at least I got a bomb in there. Better than a guardian acorn. Whoa, fire keys again. Yeah, we got ice and lava to deal with this time around. You know, I'm not even going to bother with these guys. Unless I have to. Yeah, I don't have to kill them at all. Just do that. Ha ha. You cannot escape from me. Although, you know what? I do want to go up here. I can escape from you. Whoa! Oh, right, I don't have the snowshoe ring. It's like, what happened? There we go. Let's just take the easy way out, thanks. There we go. Yeah, those turtles would bump into you and throw you into the spikes if you didn't have the uh, snowshoe ring. So, yeah, I love that ring. You know, I gotta give, a, give them a hand. You know, I'm, I can't believe how many of the rings are actually useful. I mean, I thought, like, they were, a lot of them were useless, but, like, even the quicksand ring, you know, snowshoe ring, there's quite a few useful rings. I prefer how they handled the masks in uh, Majora's Mask, you know, because it added, like, more in PC development and things like that, but this is still cool, too. So let's head on down here. We can't do anything to the right yet, so... We want to kill those bats first, if I can. There we go. Keep them from escaping, because I can't get into that lower left area. Because there's an armor statue in the way that won't move. So let's take that guy out, if he will just stay still. Thank you. Thank you for dying. Come again. Would you like to supersize your order? Huh. What do you mean by that? Now this one, I, the first time I played the game, I had to look up in a walkthrough. Kill everything. Then stay still for about five seconds. Haha! -ha, there we go. So yeah, that one I could not figure that one out on my own. Because I needed a walkthrough for that one. Oh well. But I do want to take these guys out as long as I'm in the area. So let's do that. Uh oh, fire keys. 
Yeah, I better uh, take this guy out. Wait for it. There we go. I'll take the hit and the dungeon map. All right. Let's see. Can I get these guys out of the way? No, no, they're, they're not going to bother me. Now, this part's a little tricky, but I think I can do it. Now, what you want to do is have the North Pole Magnetic Glove and hold it. There we go. Ha-ha! There we go. That's how you're supposed to do that. I didn't think you could do that. For some reason, like, the, when I was doing all my test runs, I didn't think... I couldn't figure that out. I don't know why. But uh, what happened, what I did was, uh, I took the Rock's Cape with the Pegasus Seeds, and that allowed me to get through that. So, let's uh, pull this guy into the lava there. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Uh, I just get such a kick out of doing that to those uh, knights. Well, just gotta cut up. Well. Yeah, watch out for those guys. They can take away your sword. But uh, not permanently. Not like in Zelda 1. So, yeah, they're not nearly as uh, irritating there. In Zelda 1, for those who have never played it or are too young to have played it, uh, those red bubbles there can take away your sword permanently unless you hit a blue bubble. But this thing is also very useful. The Hyper Slingshot. Three seeds at once. How does that thing work? Well, let's check it out. It, it's the upgrade to the uh, slingshot that we had earlier. Sure, let's use that one. Yeah, you can shoot three seeds at once, but it only uses one from your inventory. So that's pretty nice. And there's going to be some puzzles and stuff that will uh, take advantage of that. So, yeah, that's a nifty little item. I still like the other items that we've been getting lately in the last few dungeons. But, uh, no, it's all right. Remember that magnetic pole there for later? Yeah, when I was say calling them poles earlier, yeah, that wasn't a coincidence. I was saying that because I knew it was magnetic. But anyway, over here, let's grab this key. Awesome. We're gonna need that. How can they have ice on top of a floor made of lava? Doesn't heat rise? I mean, it should be ice below and lava on top. Shouldn't it? Something like that? I'm not a meteorologist, but, uh, huh. I'm not a biologist either. They weren't my strong subjects. I was more of a physics chemistry guy than a biology meteorology guy. Mr. Owl. Hmm, what do you mean by that? Well, first things first, let's, uh, hit these three at once. Ha! There we go. It reveals a secret passage. Ooh, and another key. All right. Man, I really gotta get more of those, uh, bomb tubes. I like the bomb shoes. Well, they're uh, more useful than I gave them credit for. But anyway, yeah, I don't have my sword for a little while, so we're just gonna have to uh, make do with what we got. I wonder if that counts for the uh, bigger on sword. Let's find out. Nope, can't use bigger on sword. Any sword doesn't work. Um, let's see. Ha! There we go. Where'd my sword go? Oh, there it is. I was like, did I do something else with it? But anyway, let's grab this key here. All right. Ah, damn bubbles. Blow me. Blow me, bubbles. Ah, uh, let's see. Can I get a little more hearts? There we go. Let's see. What do I want for this guy? Okay, let's head on to the next room. For boss time! Whoa, fire and ice? I'm totally unprepared for that. Okay, so what we want to do is you want to have your mystery seeds on your hyper slingshot and the power bracelet. Whenever you hit them with uh, the mystery seed, it switches, it toggles them from fire to ice or vice versa. What you want to do is get them to make an ice icicle. Then hit it, hit the icicle with the mystery seed so that way you can pick it up. Once you pick it up, you throw it at his fire form, and you can damage him. So, pretty simple. There's actually another way of damaging him. I will show you. Let's see. If you get him in his ice form and just hit him with the ember seeds, that's another way of damaging him. But, uh, eh, I don't care to do that because it, it takes longer. Oh, wait. Ha! There we go. Did I even have my uh, blue ring equipped for that? I don't think I did. No. Well, now I don't need it, but, uh... Well, there we go. Actually, you know what I could use? I could use the, uh, the heart ring. There we go. Might as well use that. Let's head on back here. Uh, remember there were those three statues that I couldn't hit before? Well, now I can! Yeah. 
It's kind of an interesting item. I just don't really care for it that much. I mean, it's just basically... Essentially, it's a, a pure upgrade. It's like the long switch hook and the regular switch hook, you know? It doesn't really do that much that special. I mean, the rocks cape is amazing. You double jump, you know? I mean, that's a, a huge upgrade, you know? Or, uh... What was the other one? The boomerang. You know, you can move it in midair. You know, that's pretty cool. But, you know, th shooting three at once, eh, I don't really care for that too much. But still, I mean, you got the magnetic gloves. That, you can't beat that. That's my favorite item. But here, you want to hit all these really fast. There we go. To reveal a secret passage. The hyper slingshot kind of reminds me of the, uh... What was that item in Star Traffics? Those ninja stars that would uh, split as you uh, uh, were throwing them at your enemies. That was pretty cool. Now in this room, you got the snowshoe ring. It's pretty helpful. So you got to push all these blocks into the right there. So just push them around like I'm doing. But yeah, that's the thing I like about the snowshoe ring is that it's actually really useful, not just convenient. Whereas the the swimmer's ring that you could get in Oracle of Ages, it's more convenient. You know, it's nice to be able to swim a little faster, but does it make, you know, Jabu Jabu's belly any less annoying to to uh, raise and lower all the water levels? No, not really. So, you know, I, I don't really care for it as much, but I would still bring it along with me, absolutely. Nuts! Oh, how did I, uh, like, not take any damage? Uh, oh, well. I was gonna leave the screen and come back, but okay, never mind. Nuts! I hate this part. I hate this room so much. I have so much trouble with this. Let's be careful. Nuts! We gotta get on that top ledge there. Nuts! Come on. Fourth time's a charm. There we go. I hate this part, too. Are those ice swamps? Will I slip on them? Game? Yeah, I can't get on there in time. Oh, well. Try it again. Come on. Okay, careful. Ha! There we go. Well, at least I don't have those bats to worry about anymore. I'd rather be dealing with fire cases at this point. No, very no, viewers. I'm just kidding. Ha! Whoa, hey, ho, ha! Oh, there we go. That's how you get to the other side. Not that I care. I mean, why would I ever want to go back there? I guess maybe to hit those, or to get that ring that I got earlier. Whoa, the snakes are jumping out of the plane! No, no, but they are falling from the sky. So, uh, let's see what I want to do here. Ha! Here we go. Let's see, this room's a little tricky. First things first, let's kill all the enemies. Now, there is a room in the lower right there, but I don't think you can do anything there. If there is, let me know, viewers, but I don't think I can do anything in there. At least not to my knowledge. Let's kill these guys with the power of music. Not the power of love, the power of music. And over here, we can get the boss key. But can I defeat the boss in this dungeon? Find out next time on Let's Play Oracle of Seasons! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. Oh, this part. I remember this part. You remember it, too.